we are going to be able to serve individuals the exact piece of content that they would be interested in the most at any given time based on different social activity modes. People are really, really predictable and their patterns are really, really predictable. And, and if algorithmically we can determine what piece of content will be most relative to you, you tell me whether or not you want to have to change the channel on the remote. Because I'm going to deliver you better analytics about my consumer. You're going to know who they are. You're going to know why they're there. You're going to know where they're going after they came here and where they came from. And the Nielsen's can't give you that on television. I think companies like Apple and Google are going to be in a content competition war uh, for content that actually connects to their Nexus device. I think the Apple TV or the Google TV will be built into the television itself and won't be a separate, separate product. Apple and iTunes Store has been delivering you know, individual content units of music at a rate. And then this subscription model around playlists for music, I think is a really strong indicator of, of what will happen to video. And I think that what YouTube is actually doing in curating playlists or having professionally curated playlists uh, is actually a good move in the right direction. Look at what, what rates on television right now, live. Sports events, Super Bowl, uh, major flash sports events, American Idol, uh, Dancing with the Stars, where there's an integrated uh, back and forth conversation that's starting that's happening with the audience, so they actually feel like they are a part of the show. It's interactive in some way, shape, or form, and it's a live vote off, whatever kind of thing.